Is this like part two of our Valentine's episode? <laughs> John is not here. <laughs> He's been eliminated. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Eatbook Vlogs. I'm Mendon. And I'm Kiara. And today we are going to let Instagram decide what we eat for a day. We are back in my hood, Tampanese, that Kiara loves. There are a couple of new openings, so are you ready? Yes, of course, because east side, back side. Best side lah! Today we are filming an Eatbook Vlogs at Tampanese, and you get to decide what we eat for the day. So stay tuned! Okay, so it's 11 a.m. and we're going to take our first IG poll to find out what kind of breakfast we are going to eat. It will either be old school kopitiam food or a cafe. cafe. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, it's currently 11 a.m. and we haven't had our breakfast yet, so. Help us to choose whether we should have traditional kopi or cafe. Don't choose cafe. Kiara will be like not eating. I also want kopi. Choose. I want kopi. Choose. I want kopi. Choose. We are at Old Brew Culture. In front of us, we have two very different kinds of coffee mm. and two very different kinds of pastry. Yeah, so mine is more basic lah. Right? Yeah, of course lah. Yours more Instagrammable <laughs> la, right? Yeah, and it's a Dalgona coffee. <laughs> but, but it's a real one, the real one. It's not the one that I did at home. We all did at home last time. I did not. Because of Mendon, the cheesecake is mine. And this is a low carb flourless cheesecake. For me, right, I'm having the sugar coated donut that also comes in two other flavors. They have biscoff and cream cheese. Yeah, that is stuffed inside. Mm. Because it's flourless, right, I feel like there's none of that fluffy, airy texture. It's very dense, but it's still very light in flavor. Cheese wise, I can't really taste them. You can taste a lot of citrusy notes, and there's even real orange zest in it. You can taste that it's a healthier version of a typical cheesecake which is something my mom would enjoy. Mm. I feel like I can bring her here to eat. It's made in-house, you know? Oh, maybe that's why. Oh. Yeah. This is all made in-house. You want a donut? Yeah, yeah I'm, trying, I'm trying. Okay, come. I love soft fluffy, donuts. Eh. Yeah. Let me just talk about the fluffiness, okay? Look at this, look at this. Yo! <laughs> It doesn't stay flat, it's that fluffy. Eh. I like the chewiness of the dough. So you imagine all the Japanese bakeries that we've been to, right? And that kind of elasticity you find in those breads. This is exactly the same. Eh. I still got donut in my bread, uh, in my mouth. Donut in my bread. Mmm. Yeah, let me talk about this first. <laughs> <laughs> this donut is a bit on the healthier side as well. There's no super oily feeling when you bite into the donut itself. The amount of sugar is just nice. Let me talk about the Dalgona coffee next. I feel like the sweetness is like another kind of sweetness. It's really like the street Korean candy Dalgona that I tried in Korea. It's not just sugar, it's like a roasty sugar. And it's very full bodied. It's a great. Just like I saw a food. Wait, just like I saw a food. <gasps> life begins after coffee. <laughs> and today my life has begun after this sip. Nice, eh? I'm having a lactose-free milk because oh, I... <laughs> I've never heard of a lactose-free latte. I like it's like oat milk or yeah, 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 almond like, milk. This coffee is one of the lightest coffee I've tasted. But as in the body of the coffee is very light. I really like this though. I guess the concern, right, if you are coming for breakfast is mm. that there are only three tables here. So I would recommend you guys to come over here, grab and go. Mm. So you grab your cheesecake or you grab your donut and then you can go to your workplace already. And then you have your food at your workplace and relax. Ideal, huh? Next time you want to grab a Dalgona coffee to your workplace, for me? <laughs> okay, now that we're done with breakfast, I feel like we have to post yeah, yeah, yeah. our poll on IG. For lunch! Okay. Okay, let's take. You ready? Hair check. Okay, one, two, three, go. Now that we are done with our breakfast, we need your help to choose our lunch for us. Do we get Western or Asian? Vote here! So you guys chose that we are going to have Western for lunch. That's why we are at Kenny Rogers right now. It just opened only eh, actually. It opened on the 29th of August. Mm, so yeah. I used to eat Kenny Rogers when I was younger with my family. It's more of like a family style dino, I feel. And I got the Kenny Squatter meal today. It's the first thing on the menu with a thumbs up, so I'm gonna try it. And it comes with a quarter of a rotisserie roasted chicken, two sides, and my favorite, the muffin. And you got two sauces also, right? Yeah, so you can choose between the original brown sauce and the black pepper. 
And today I'm going to choose the black pepper sauce because I need a bit more spice in my life. Because she don't stay in the east. And I got the OMG two-piece chicken meal that comes also with two sides and the muffin. Wait, why is it called OMG? OMG la. Outrageous, mouth-watering and guiltless. So apparently it's a fried chicken that is unfried with less oil so that you can enjoy all the pleasures without the guilt. Okay, let's start with mine first. Ooh! Fall what? off the bone! Legit? Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna dump the sauce. This is my first time eating Kenny Rogers actually. Mm. Kenny Rogers is a place that I eat super long time ago with my family. So I think they kind of revamp the menu. They even have nasi lemak. But in the past, it's really more of just like their rotisserie chickens. It's still the same taste as what I remember it to be like. And then it's really tender. And there's a bit of kick of warmth from the black pepper. You chose well. Of course. You chose well. <laughs> okay, I'll try your fried chicken. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, what? Is it crispy? Yeah. Oh. It's so funny! 2020, people want to do ASMR. It's an like mm. F, right? Mm, yeah. I love fried chicken because I like the crunch of the batter with mm. like the juicy, oily skin mm. underneath. And it's not exceptionally crunchy, but it's still very flavorful. Mm. I think the skin, right, the top layer is marinated well enough so that when you air fry it, right, the flavour doesn't like go away. And the meat, right, is as tender, as juicy as the rotisserie one. Mm. So if this is less guilty, actually I might get this instead. Really? Yeah. You prefer fried chicken over rotisserie chicken? Right? Actually I do eh. I like the crunch. But Texture maker taste, you know. The great thing about this place is that the menu is very expensive and affordable. Like they have pasta starting from 10.90. And you can have all the sides that you want. Mmm, 11. 11. This is like my childhood favourite. It's the best, is it? It used to be the best. I don't know about now, but we. I want to try it before I say anything. It feels quite dense. Eh? What I love about their muffin was that the outside, right, is slightly burnt and it's very crunchy and aromatic. And inside is buttery soft with corns inside. It's still the same, it's still the same. I'm telling you, it's still the same. Do they sell this individually? It is good, eh. I'm gonna pull it down, eh. But anyway, the sides here, to be honest, they are pretty standard. I think that you can just choose the sides that you like, the ones that you enjoy, but you gotta know that it will be how you expected it to be, lah. Mm. The chicken is the main draw here. So we have been walking around, not shopping during work. Yeah, right, <laughs> not shopping. And we're back at Tampanese 1. So Kiara, it's actually like tea time right now, eh? Mm -hmm. So do you want to have like Hong Kong snacks or local snacks? You're asking me, ah? Yeah? You're supposed to ask them and people on IG, eh? Oh yeah, oh. It's time for tea right now and we are having trouble deciding between Hong Kong and local pastries. Tell us which one you want. This vote, one vote, or vote, this vote. one? This one vote, or vote, this vote, one? Vote. This one or this one? Please choose Hong Kong. Don't give hints! <laughs> Okay, now that we've posted the story, let's give the followers some time to do the poll. Meanwhile, let's go shopping! Shopping? Hello! Hello! She took my phone, I cannot see oh. the tea and go inside. <laughs> you see her partying inside. Yeah. We just got our tea time snacks and you must be wondering where we are right now. We're yeah. actually just outside of Tampanese 1, so there's a big open area here where we can sit down. Okay, so according to what you guys dictated us to do, it's the Hong Kong pastries for tea. Yes, so what we got here is an original egglet. Mm -hmm. And someone even stole a bite I did. from it before the camera started. They don't have to know that. <laughs> then why you got pao over there? Right? I thought Hong Kong pastries just said you got pao dim sum. Ah. No, because it was side by side. They were actually like the same shop, selling different things. And this Nanki pao, it looks so huge. Nika Nika. You see, you see. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's try the egglet first. How do you usually eat your eggler? Do you like peel one by one or do you like? Okay, we say together. One, one two, two, three. three. Peel one, one by one, Jinx. Oh, me Starbucks. Oh, me Starbucks. Oh, me cold. I love the smell of eggler. Mm, it's chewy, it's buttery, it's fragrant, and it's also a bit crunchy. Hello, hello. This is what I call Chinese waffles. Crispy on the outside, mm -hmm. soft and fluffy on the inside. It tastes like childhood. Mm -hmm. I go to Pasamara, man. Mm -hmm. Then I'll just go and buy, then I'll get a chocolate one. Talking about chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. They also have other flavours such as chicken floss, cheese, strawberry. The cheese is my favourite, actually. Okay, don't talk so much. Now, let's try the pao. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to try? The ta pao or the real pao? Or the ta pao pao. Ta ta pao. You should try the xiao pao first. You mean ta pao? You try the ta pao first. Do you like eat your pao with the skin or without the skin? 
Um, my mom always tells us that we have to take up the skin. Same! I think this is a very Asian thing to do because my mom always tell me it might be dirty, so you just like remove the oh, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I think Namki Pao's, right? What's different is that there's a lot of flavor. Really juicy. There's a bit of crunch from, I don't know, radish, some kind of vegetable. This pao is just nice for a quick grab and go. The pao itself, right? Mm. Like the white color part. It's very tasty really. Mm. Like it is sweet there. Eh. It's pao. very gao, it's a very gao pao. And then with that big pao oh, that yeah. we have there. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. So this is the Amy Yip pao. And it's humongous. It's like the size of my palm. This is the last place I imagine myself skidding a pao at. Eh. <laughs> Usually it's at home or at some dim sum place. Uh. Talking about eating pao's at home, right? They also have frozen ones oh. that you can tap out home. I know, break it, break it. Break, break it. it. Uh. Oh. I think it tastes the same, but I feel like with this size, it's even more shook. I think that this is a bit oilier than that one. But I think because you add a bit more meat inside, right? It's a bit more of the fats that comes out. Mm. And I think that's what makes the juice also. Mm. I think this one gives you more bread also. Yeah. More bread to filling ratio. So if mm. you love the sweet, fluffy, pao kind of bread, right? Order the any hit one instead of the ta pao. Overall, I think this is not suitable for tea. Okay, yes. <laughs> but it's very delicious. This is not tea time. Tea time is like egglets. Mm. And like you chew and you sit down while well, you rest your stomach. I think we need to walk off our any hit pao. <laughs> Too hot already, right? Yeah, man. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. But I think we need to prep for our dinner, right? Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Dinner time! Where should we eat? Should we go to the Kopitiam? Or should we go to a good restaurant to eat? End the day off nicely. Let us know! Restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. Kopitiam. Kiara is very happy that you guys chose restaurant instead of Gopitiam. Just look at the amount of food we thank have. You. Woo! Yeah. I love Ibu viewers. <laughs> so we're at Mahota Kitchen today and it looks a bit familiar. Yeah. Just there's somebody missing here today. <laughs> Joy. Hi John. Hi John. How are you doing? <laughs> but what's different is that they have given the restaurant a whole new look. It's a bit brighter now and they even changed the name to Shi Tang by M. Mm. Right, I think it's because they want to give it a more inviting vibe for family style dinner. Yeah. Okay, okay, what should we try? Can we try the appetizers first? The stir fried pumpkin, pumpkin cakes. cakes. Okay, let's go. Mm. Hey, this is actually quite addictive. Eh? They have the Thai pork inside, they have the egg inside, they have the chili inside, and they have the crunch from the tauge. I know a lot of people don't like tauge, right? Mm. But the tauge and the spring onions provided the extra crunch. You see the cross section of their cake. There is like pumpkin bits inside, so it's not entirely flour. And also, I feel like there's meat in the mix. Eh. The texture is not one dimensional. Mm. So, yeah, I think this is a good start to our last meal of the day. So, let's move on to this sea bass with Nonya sauce. You can smell the sourness, the spiciness already mm. before even like eating the fish itself. Yeah, it's another smell that makes you salivate yeah. instantly. Very fresh. The nonya sauce is pretty mild. So people who are afraid of spice or too a food that's too sour, this is fine. Okay. I like how the sourness contrasts very well with the very mild spiciness. You want to be perfect. If you can take the sauce uh, and then just put on rice. They even have vegetables hidden in it. There's cabbage, there's long beans. For me, right, I would like the sauce to be a bit thicker. Because right now it's a bit watery. Mm. So because it's a bit watery, right? We don't get that fulfilling mouth feel. Mm when you eat it. La. Okay, next. Oh my gosh, this is pretty unique. So for their signature crab quinoa porridge, right? Mm -hmm. They actually give us three different garnishes. Mm. They have the coriander. Your favourite. They have spring onions. Also your favourite. Also my favourite. <laughs> and they have crispy rice bits. I actually have high expectations for this. Is it? Because number one is their signature. And number two, like when you open the lid, uh, I could really smell like seafood and then there's a seafood smell. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay, it looks like a very tongued up porridge. Yes. Never have I had porridge in this colour. Mm. So good. Awesome. This is really a high level porridge dish. Usually I do not like to eat porridge. I feel like it's sick people's food. But this one is not. There is creaminess from the broth and there is like a rich flavour from the porridge <laughs> itself. Yeah. I think what struck me the most right, was the richness of the taste. Eh. And it's very well complemented by the garnishes that they give us. As much as it is rich, right, it is not jelak. Mm. 
Super fresh, super sweet. Super sweet. If only there's someone in my life who would de-shell it and put it in a porridge so that I can simply just eat it with a spoon and a bowl. Let's go to the next part okay. of the meal. Desserts. Desserts. Jinx, Jinx owe me a Coke, owe me a Starbucks. Very surprisingly, there's this dessert called Bamboo Choco Yam Paste. Wow. Memory game. Good job, man. Then. But that's a dessert. Eh. Yep. To me, it looks like appetizer. Right. Mm. I love it. Eh. Very different from all the yam paste desserts I've had. The better, right? Actually, it reminds me of going pisang. Mm. Going pisang better. Correct, correct, correct. And I think like what surprised me was how soft it actually is. And the yam paste in the middle is very creamy and soft. This is not very sweet. Yeah. You know what this means not? We need to make another IG poll. We wanna, we wanna end this day on a sweet note, right? So let's ask them. You don't shoot some bubble tea, <laughs> no. You confirm say bubble tea. Oh, no. Okay, let's ask them. Should we drink bubble tea or a, a fruit smoothie to end the day on a sweet note? Okay, are you ready? Our very last IG poll. I hope no bubble oh. tea eh. I cannot drink milk, guys. <laughs> so we've come to the end of our dinner and Kiara wants something sweet to end off the day. Of course. Should we have bubble tea or should we have a fruit smoothie? Please choose fruit smoothie. I cannot drink bubble tea. I cannot drink milk. I cannot drink milk. I drink milk, I will like... <laughs> <laughs> Let's give the IG people about 5 minutes to give us our final poll. Let's talk about the food here. Mm. Do you enjoy the food here? I actually do, eh, but specifically, right, I like the... Let me think of the name again. The signature crab quinoa porridge the most. And also the... Wow, that long name again. I know. Crispy bamboo charcoal yam paste. Wow. Yes! Yes, I think these two are my favourites. And if you're coming here for the first time, right, I would highly recommend these two. Correct, Kiara? Actually, yeah. I would also have said the same thing. But I also want to recommend the sea bass with Nonia sauce because I feel like it's really fresh, you know. The fish shines with the pickled Nonia sauce. Okay, shall we like walk towards the bubble tea area? No! As we wait for the no IG bubble pool? tea! Let's go! It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna, it's gonna, happen. Happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Let's go. Can you guess whether I'm smiling or he's smiling? Because that's going to be the results of our last IG poll. Are you ready? Yeah, let's show them. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> so instead of bubble tea, we got Mr. Coconut. Gary, you never tried this before, right? I never. I tried this before like a lot of times already and I love it. You love it? Yeah. Okay, my friends, they have raved about it before, but I don't know. Don't oversell it. You've been overselling too much, you know? No, okay. So today, we've got the coconut shake and the coconut avocado shake. That's right. Wow. Oh, coconut bit, you wanna see? Oh no, got my lipstick stain, don't see. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like as compared to the one in Orchard, there's more real coconut bits. Mm. So it's not bad. And even though it looks slightly more diluted, the flavour is actually still there. It's very mm. full bodied, very creamy. So, not bad, huh? I'm very. Yeah, other than a lot of bubble teas. In Tampanese, it's good that you guys have this coconut as well. Right, so I think that this is like, for me right, the perfect alternative to bubble tea. Eh. So this has that creaminess, and then they have the fresh coconut beads also, eh. so you know that it's like real coconut inside here. No, like especially in Singapore right, like the weather is so hot now. Mm. Wow, perfect eh. Refreshing. So what do you think about the, the whole day today? Hey, I think the fun about today right, is that we keep seeing the bar move eh. mm. Like whether it's the kopitiam, or the restaurant, or the Chinese food, or the Western food. Quite exciting actually. Like we couldn't predict what we were gonna eat for the entire day. And we got to try a lot of new food in Tamil's Wine and Century Square. So it's quite fun, this activity. If you're sick of choosing what to eat or if your friend is so fussy that they take 10 years to decide what to eat, right? Why not do this activity with them? Let your evil followers decide for you what they want you to eat. Thank you Templis One and Century Square for making this video possible. We've got new FMB options in both malls, so check out the link in the description box down below for more information. Thank, Thank you for watching, watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you, you like this video, video you can watch more of our videos there. over there. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to like, share and subscribe. subscribe. Bye! Journey to the West! 10 minutes till I reach home.